really pretty much it's really not just next Saturday the uh, event, but the day after that is really the the sat the uh, um the the day after is what really the event and what's going to occur in you know based upon Revelation twelve um it's going to occur. Um, you, it's the next day is what you have to be aware of, um, to get ready for war. That's all I got to tell people, get ready for war, pretty much. Um, and right now you should be getting ready to put on the whole armor of God, the armor of light, armor of righteousness. Yes. But the topic of the message of my 3H nation going to all oh, my boy. P, uh, Second Peter, uh, and oh, I, I I love looking at Second Peter. And going through Second Peter, I see the passion of Peter and and his stance of the truth of God's word concerning the gospel. I uh, love how Peter stands stand firm on the gospel how he speaks against what's going on and you know it's just quite interesting you know and the let me see second peter one four yeah second peter one four whereby are given unto us exceedingly great and precious promises that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. And the topic I want to um do a video on is the reality of what are you partaking. Ask the question yourself, what do you have a desire to partake, pretty much? You know what I'm saying? That because it's all boiled down to desire. And the thing is, you know, it is it's and I was, you know, posting and says, look, are we aiming for spiritual cleanliness? You know what I'm saying? Or are we getting downright dirty? Are we what are we focused on concerning our position as Christians? And, you know, and as Christians to really pretty much be an example to sinners, you know? Uh, the thing is, we as Christians need, I think to me, if any revival or uh, movement that's going to truly bring forth the church to be the church of who we are, is when the church get clean, you know? The church get clean, and then we can clean up the world. But if we're not, if the church ain't going to get clean, what's the use of trying to clean up the world when we're not clean? You know, it's just a kind of situation to me of how to see this, what's going on right now. Uh, now, but the thing is, this is, to, now I want to uh, kind of, uh, what are you, what do you have a desire to partake more, uh, being spiritually clean, learning the word of God, uh, learning how to walk by faith, learning to uh, the love of God, having the joy of the Lord be your strength, uh, having peace that passes understanding, uh, learning the how the learning the power of grace, and and understanding the mercy that is given to you, understanding the scriptures. You know, concerning applying them in, in, in helping others apply them. I mean, what? But what is your agenda concerning when you wake up in the morning? What? What? Uh, what is on on the list that's going to be leaned towards the aim of partaking in pretty much activity based upon the Word of God, or what's on your agenda is on your list is partaking of the things of this world uh, that's about wickedness and about, you know, negativity, about sin. You know what I'm saying? What is your uh, 
heart's desire agenda is what this message is wanting to ask a question that hope you will ask that question sincerely you know and the thing is you know it is and i separated are we aiming for to learn how to love or are we going to yield to lust either you're learning how to love the love of god or you will yield to lust and lust and and here's the thing was dangerous about this what i'm revealing to you concerning partakers that those are are you trying to partake of both yeah you know the luke one you know are you partaking of both you know what i'm saying you think you can have both and to me if you think you can have both you'll probably end up sick you know spiritually sick you know at the same time because you can't you know it's kind of like health food and junk food you know what i'm saying you know is the and and thinking and expecting you to become more healthier you know but the thing is we need to understand that you know we uh first of all but i yeah i want to read what the next uh verse to this and it's the fifth verse and it says and besides this giving all diligence add to your faith virtues yeah and it talks about the virtues and how much virtues is supposed to be the difference of developing a desire towards being of God. You know what I'm saying? And, and it says, and to virtues of knowledge, and to knowledge, and to temperance. Oh, uh, you know, controlling the, your uh, temper. Yeah, controlling your temper. And to temperance, patience. Oh, patience. And to patience, godliness. And to godliness, brotherly kindness. And to brotherly kindness is charity, pretty much love. And it says, for if these things be in you and abound, they may make you, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful, into the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. And look, and that's what this thing is really all about concerning partaking. See, see, when you're developing, as what Peter, I believe, is saying, is if you're developing diligence that adds to your faith of virtues and your faith, of, uh, your not virtues of knowledge, you, you gain more uh, uh, knowledge of knowing how to be temperance, knowing how to have patience, Learn to have godliness. Learn to have a brotherly kindness that will have the love. See, when you're developing these things, you will find yourself partaking of the divine nature more of God. If you're trying to aim to, you know, as this in the, as agenda or number one agenda in your life. But if you're just, you know, not doing that, you're going to find yourself yielding to the lust of the flesh if you're not doing it. It's what you must see if you're not aiming towards this goal of developing yourself of, to learn to be a partaker of divine nature, of the things of God, concerning not the things of this world. That uh, uh, Peter want us to understand that we need to uh, 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 be about it, be, a, be serious about this. Now, God taught me about there's a difference between taking serious and being serious about it. And what I, you know, he taught me is about is to be serious about something. More likely, you know, is uh, be, uh, be on a agenda, be, you know, like go about the protocol, establish a protocol in how you go about, you know, learning the word of God, you know what I'm saying? Learning all these virtues that Paul is talking about concerning temperance and patience and godliness and, you know, step by step and, and be committed. Yes. Yes. Be committed to the process of learning this day by day to, uh, to, to really sincerely be about developing the divine nature that we will uh, operate in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
But if we don't do that, we will find ourselves yielding, as it says, to the uh, lust of the flesh. You know what I'm saying? We will find ourselves mingling with a uh, situation and corruption. Because, you know, it's more likely uh, if we're doing this, we're going to uh, find ourselves in activity that is going to, that you're not doing this. That's the dangerous activity. It's not someone like you're not studying the word of God. You're not, you know what I'm saying? But you're doing something. But watch this. You're not doing like sinful things, but you're not studying the word of God. You're just doing this. You know what I'm saying? But you're not doing the uh, lustful activity. And that's that gap you got to be aware of to be serious about that this gap exists that when I'm not studying the word of God, I'm doing this, but I'm not, you know, uh, sinning, but I'm just doing this. This gap right here is you need to be aware that this gap exists, that you need to be serious about. But here's the thing, taking things serious. You got to be careful taking things serious because you may overdo it. Because I, I got to learn the word of God. I got to learn the word of God. I got to do this. You know, that's no, that's not the way to go. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to learn a, a whole New Testament, Old Testament, New Testament. I got to read this. And No, you don't. That's taking things serious. And God doesn't want us doing that because we do overdo it. But the thing is, the kingdom of heaven is about doing things accordingly, step by step, pattern by pattern line by line, precept by precept that uh, Isaiah says in I believe 28 or 29, he talks about that, but be one, one scripture uh, 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 talk about this about the word of God, I mean be serious about doing things accordingly, little by little, and that what will develop this process of divine nature you know what I'm saying, you don't have to learn every scripture learn every chapter, you know, but step by step, handling it, uh, fellowshipping it, talking to it to other people. Fellowship is very important when you get information and you talk about it and expound on it and you will see and, and find an understanding of a motivation of why to perform it, perform temperance, perform patience, perform godliness, perform uh, brotherly love, perform love, charity is what how you're supposed to learn to be serious on the agenda of being a partaker, learning to want to have a desire to partake divine nature. And I want to talk about partake that divine nature. See, you will be about, I want to listen to this music, you know what I'm saying? Christian music, you know, and I don't want to listen to that music. You know what I'm saying? Is what really, when you take on a divine nature, you be like, want to listen to or listen to Christian movies. I mean, look at Christian movies and not the world movies. You know what I'm saying? You, you want to, everything that has something to do with Christ is an ideal of being a partaker of the divine nature. You will want to have that desire to want everything that's about Jesus Christ. That you will want in your life when you take up this divine nature. And you will be eliminating all the worldly stuff that, you know, you have. You know what I'm saying? And, and that if it's influencing you to do the lust of the flesh. You know what I'm saying? You will not want to take, look at that movie or listen to that music. That shows to forth the maturity of taking forth of a partaking of the divine nature that you must understand. But if you're not maturing, you're going to be in the being corrupted. Eventually, concerning this world system, as what well, uh, Peter talks about the pollution of this world system, the spiritual pollution of this world system that is out there is going to find a way to get you going after the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and end up operating the pride of life, going after after the things of the world sinning. So that's the message. I hope you've learned to uh, 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 part, be partaking. What are you partaking of? And undeveloping the divine nature of God and not the pollution of the 
sick world system. And that's the message. God be the glory of him, Father, and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.